and welcome back to the Southampton FM series. Today we're kicking it off with a match against Liverpool at home in the FA Cup. And this is the team to play Liverpool in the cup. We got Gav, we got Walker Peters, Harwood Stevens because Balakotchap is still injured. Doig, Shea Charles, Will Smallbone, Alcaraz, Adam Armstrong, Adozi, and Mara as Ballard is out injured. Can we do it? Can we get to the next round? Let's buddy find out. Unai Emery's the manager of Liverpool, by the way. As Jurgen Klopp manages Real Madrid. Fair enough. Nice ball. Oh, he's offside by a fucking mile. Mara only scores offside goals now. Jones, great ball. Victor Oshium. Ah, well. I mean, it is Liverpool at the end of the day. To Smallbone. Smallbone. Alcaraz. Alcaraz. Walker Peters in a ton of space. Walker Peters deflected in. Come on. A bit of luck. Walker Peters strikes. And we're back level. And that's half time. One all. Well, buddy, take that. And a bomb strong to Doig. Doig from distance. Kelleher. Oh, dodgy. Adozi, no. So close. Kalahar nearly fucked it. Now, this isn't exactly what we want. A fucking replay. Oh, we have enough games that it is, but... Oh, we didn't need that. And for our next match, away to Watford. Only a couple changes. Saramento and Lindstrom come in. Mariba and Downs come in. And Larios comes in at left back. We've been struggling a bit in four, but only one win in our last four championship games. We need to step it up. Saramento. Deep cross. Mara! Mara. If he was offside, he scores that. Fucking hell, bro. Can this guy shoot? Stevens, it's in! Jack Stevens, the captain, scores. Yes! Lindstrom with a deep cross. Saramento, he gets there! And it's 2-0. That's fucking excellent. The wingers combine. And that's half time. 2-0. A dominant display. Let's buddy finish it off. How do we not win that? Are you joking? Are you taking the piss, guys? Cross deep, deep cross. Yeah, clear the ball, please. That was dreadful. Nice ball, Sila. Can you find Fofana? You can. Fofana! Bro! Why are all my strikers shit in front of goal? And that is full time. 2-0 victors are the Saints. Clean sheet, dominant performance. So now I'm doing this a little bit different. I'm only going to do live commentary for the games that are important or are somewhat crucial to the season. For our next match, we traveled away to Blackburn with Blackburn scoring early, but it was disallowed for offside. We then took the lead with Adam Armstrong scoring this absolute beauty. We then went close to a second as Mara hit the post. We eventually got our second as Alcaraz scored to make it 2-0, but Blackburn eventually did get their goal with five minutes left to play, but it wasn't enough as we held out for a 2-1 win. All right, big match against Liverpool. We got the A-team. Lindstrom and Saramento have been in great form, so they start. But again, we have no strikers hitting form. We're Ballard injured. Fafana sucks. Mara's just being shit as well. We just don't have anyone to, to play up front. But other than that, big game away at Anfield. Can we do better than what we did in real life? We're about to find out. Nice ball, Mariba. Mariba, oh, he's going all the way. No, it's saved. Massive chance, our first shot of the game. Ross from Sabozlai. Nunez at the edge. Diogo Jota scores a screamer. Absolute piece of shit. And that's half time. Diogo Jota's screamer is the difference. I mean, we haven't been too bad. That was really the only chance they've created so far this game. Louis Diaz cutting in. Oh, they've scored two beautiful goals. Ah, that's game over. I don't see us pulling this back. McAllister with the corner. Near post. It's in. Darwin Nunez scores. <sighs> He's got two, goal, uh, two assists and a goal. Brilliant. Oh, it's a good ball. Simica scores a three fucking screamers. Oh my god, you're taking the piss. And that's full time 4 0. First half competitive. Second half not competitive. I mean, we got stitch up with draws. We got Liverpool first round here. We got uh, Chelsea Car Carabao Cup second time round. Like, come on. We just got stitched up this season. And for our next match, we hosted Swansea City. Swansea nearly took the lead with only eight minutes left of the half, but then not too long after, they got a penalty. But Big Baz was too good for Yates as we dodged a bullet. But at the start of the second half, we got off to the perfect start. No, we didn't. It was disallowed. But we eventually got our goal as Sila ran through as we made it 1-0. And then only a minute later, Sila on the free kick hits the post and James Breeze there to tap it in to make it 2-0. And we finished the game with Sila getting his brace and the Saints getting all three points. And we made a signing. We got Fulkrog on loan from Dortmund to hopefully fix our striker issue. And now we take a trip away to Bristol City with Mara scoring within 15 minutes. Oh, wait. He's offside again. But we did take the lead with Harwood Bellez scoring from the corner. And we look to extend our lead as Mara goes through just after halftime and he scores. Oh, wait. He's offside again. And in the dying embers of the game, we get a penalty with Silas stepping up to take it and missing. But we held on to grab all three points. 
And for our next match, we hosted Huddersfield Town as Zagadu gets his first goal for the club. And we extended our lead as Folkrog also got his first goal for the club. But that's all that was needed as we comfortably won 2-0. All right, massive, massive game. We host the cunts, the piece of shits, the Portsmouth. This is how the table looks. It's bloody good viewing. Obviously, we've gone on a bit of a winning streak. We still have three games in hand. If we were to win all three games, we'd be top of the league, which is brilliant. Portsmouth sit in 17th, which actually is pretty decent for them. Newly promoted. The last time out, we drew nil all, and I was furious. This time, I want nine. I said it last time. I didn't get it. I've said it now. I want it. Why can't we play football against Portsmouth? What the fuck is going... The last, like, six games, we've had ten shots at halftime. Three shots. We've had less possession. Why can't we play against these guys? Downs. A dozy. To Walker Peters. To Armstrong. He's onside. Come on. Fuck off, Portsmouth, you cunts. That's better. That's better. Finally, we scored against these piece of shit. Fucking hell. Alcaraz Doig. Is he onside? Is he? Is he? He is! Yes! 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 Yes, yes, yes! Piss off! Portsmouth, fuck off back to Fratton Park, you wankers. To small bone at the edge, to Alcaraz. What the fuck are we doing? Walker Peters. Walker Peters. Walker Peters. It's in! It's Carlos Alcaraz! The super sub does it. He gets a goal and assist. A beautiful man. Nice, Alcaraz. Alcaraz. He wants another. He gets another assist. It's super sick. Oh, it's 4 new. Back off. Come on. No, no. Small bone, you fucking... Oh, my God. I thought he was going to give away a penalty. Fuck. No clean sheet. Now, I'm fuming. And that's full time. 4-1 win. I mean, that second half was much better. I'm still pissed we conceded, but we ducked them. Ooh, big injury. Shea Chow's out for four weeks. Yikes. Ross Stewart is off. He is off to Sheffield Wednesday for 325000 And David Turnbull is off on loan, potentially signed permanently if they win the Bundesliga, which I'm fine with. And would you believe it, Scott McTominay is joining Southampton. Um, I've just seen him on loan listed, so I was like, oh, fine. Yeah, bring him in. Why not? For our next match, we took a trip away to Ipswich Town as they scored within three minutes to take an early lead. But we responded very quickly as Ipswich's Cooper sends it into his own net. And only a few minutes later, Ipswich were very close to regaining the lead as they hit the crossbar. And only eight minutes after that... Hurst missed one of the easiest opportunities of his life. We are lucky for it to be one all. And only a couple minutes after that horror miss, Harwood Bellas heads us into the lead. And that was enough for us to take all three points, but it definitely wasn't an easy game. And we've won the Manager of the Month award. Not a surprise. Look at that form in the league. Ignore the Liverpool game. Seven wins in the month in the championship. Eight wins in a row. We're on fire. Alcaraz has also signed a new four-year deal. Absolutely crucial because no doubt he will have a lot of suitors in the summer. And for our next match, we played Huddersfield again, this time away from home, and we took an early lead through Adam Armstrong, but it was disallowed. And then we got a penalty just after the half-hour mark, just for Adam Armstrong to miss it. And eventually, we did take the lead through Adozi, but it did take us quite a while. And Adozi's goal proved to be the winner, but have a look at those stats. Huddersfield didn't even manage a shot. All right, for the final game of the day, we are away to Hull City. This is how the table looks. Hull City comfortably in the playoffs. Look at the gap. 16 points between 6th and 7th. No competition this year at all. And obviously, as you can see, we are top of the league. Uh, tied on points of Luton, three points above Leicester, and obviously a game in hand. So if we win tonight, we could move even further closer to the title. And the team is normal team. Scott McTominay has to play defensive mid as Downs and Charles are out. But other than that, same really lineup. Uh, Ballard is back on the bench, finally. Volkrog's starting because Mara is shit. Let's get into it. Oh, chance for Hull City. Chance, good save, Baz. Still alive. Yes, well done, Saramento. Hull City again coming forward. Another chance. And it's wide again. Oh, it's Scott McTominay. Great defending. He's blocked it. Oh, my God. How has that gone in? Hernani scores. And we're down early. Nice play, Mariba. Mariba, he's going all the way. He's going all the way. Off kickoff. Can you believe it? Mariba scores. And we're back level just like that, baby. Chance for Hull at the edge. No one's there. Bazunu, I love you. Halftime, not been the greatest performance from us. That's for sure. But we are level, so I'll take that. Walker Peters. Nice touch. Walker Peters. Uh, what is going on? Doig, what a finish. Come on. We turn it around. The fullbacks combine. 
No, Elkrez just got injured. I was just about to make a sub. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. And we hold on to the three points. Hull City barely had a shot in that second half. I don't think they did have a shot in that second half. If you look at it, the XG. I don't think they had a shot in the second half. That is class from us. Another three points. That's like 10 in a row, 11 in a row. We're on fire. Oh, he's out for six weeks. Oh, that's not good. And that's it for this episode as we sit in first with a game in hand. Two-point lead over Luton as they drew their last game. Only 12 games left to go and we also have the conference coming up as well. So plenty more to play for as we continue our season. But I'm absolute... Look at that form. 10 wins in a row in the championship is excellent. Who do we have in the conference? We don't know yet because we have to wait for the round of 32. But I'm very, very, very happy we play Luton second to last game. That could be a big game, potentially. But that's it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you did. And I'll see you boys in the next video.